Hey guys, it's me. Uh, hopefully this is working. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear me. But it's most important if you can hear me. Um, I'm looking at the wrong camera. You're here now. So, um, yeah, you can hear me. Okay. Uh, welcome to Scribbles with Chris Reiniak. It's me, Chris Reiniak, with a closer camera now. Um, I tried a new setup and it worked awesome. So I don't have to go <laughs> through it, do everything, uh, manually so um yeah it's all working now i did now i just have to train myself to look here instead of up here so uh hey everybody i do look humongous because i'm way closer and i realize this is a sort of unflattering angle and you can see how big my neck is but i kind of don't care um because this is what my actual neck looks like but i hope everybody's doing okay um Hey, Hannah, missed you. Hello, Critter Crude, everybody who's here, uh, to the new people. Uh, welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, hopefully I don't lose my voice. For some reason, it's getting a little scraggly, but, uh, I'll do my best. Um, all right. Uh, well, it's Monday, the Monday before Thanksgiving. Hello, Sticker Monster. Um, my chat decided to die on my iPad. Um, and Red Jar Jam is here, and he gets one of these. Um, but yes, I am... Oh no, Kesho has lame eye drama, too. That's not good. Can't have that. This one's for you. I'm sorry about your eye drama, Kesho. Um, but hopefully, just keep one closed. And I feel a little bit of mine coming on, too, so... Hopefully it's, uh, hopefully yours isn't too bad. But, yes, it is the Monday before Thanksgiving, which means in the United States that everybody goes crazy and goes to the grocery store, and if you need anything from the grocery store, uh, you're going to have to endure long lines and angry people and, uh, and all the, everything running out. And there is Amanda. Hi. Um... But we went to the grocery store luckily early enough oh that gosh. it wasn't too bad yet. What a so, circus. Um, oh no, Red Jar Jam is bitless today. Whatever shall we do? Uh, so I added a new alert um, and hopefully it works. So uh, if anybody decides, if they were on the fence about pledging on Patreon, which is right there. Uh, you'll get an alert and it'll show up just Ooh. like that. Uh, if anybody <laughs> pledges $87, thank you. <laughs> but that was a test pledge. But uh, yeah, they just they just did the integrations for that recently, so it's pretty awesome that it'll pop up. And Amanda has or brought me like a drink. Here, cheers. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, How about we put, it, take it, put it right take over it here? Right from me. Okay. Um, so there we go. And uh, it's gonna make me crazy trying to remember where I put the camera. So, um... Just your eyes are just gonna dart all over the place. Let's see. Oh, Hannah, I'm really sorry that you have to go to the grocery store tomorrow. Oh, no. It's Han the worst. Hannah says, hi, I'm yelling. Hi! Um, uh, pledge as in subscribe monthly on Patreon. Yes, but I think it's only for new patrons. Um, but, uh, I don't know how, exactly how that works. And I'm gonna turn off the Amanda sighting. Oh, you're um, gonna have to turn off and on the thing a million times. So just say you saw me. It's okay. 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 So, like I said, I moved a bunch of things around. Happy Thanksgiving week to everybody. I hope everybody's doing something that they want to do and not something that they feel they have to do. Or if you are doing something you feel you have to do, I would suggest bringing enough alcohol to make you feel better, or bringing an iPad so you can play video games or something. So. Um, I hope. That was me. Sorry. Oh, I just got a Slack yeah, notification. That was me. Sorry. Um, so I have to uh, confess that uh, I have done nine drawings since yesterday. So, uh, so the scribble that you saw this morning was one of the nine um, that. Uh, that I started yesterday because um, we thought maybe we didn't okay so the space that we we were allotted for our show in Tokyo was much bigger than we had anticipated 
and we didn't really realize that until the very end. So they said, oh, can you do drawings? Um, and I said, sure, how many? It said 20. So I'm doing 20 drawings in four days. So I'm going crazy. So the one that I'm doing tonight is going to be part of that group. So it's themed to go with the show. So uh, it's part of the Curious Forest show that's going to be in Tokyo. Yes, and if anybody you are on Patreon, you can actually see the, the elevation plan for the show. And it is gigantic, like Derek says. So um, I'm going to go back for a second here. Thank you, Derek, for liking my drawing. And Retro Jam, congratulations on becoming an affiliate on Twitch. <laughs> I'm a little crazy. Congratulations, pal. So, yes, I am speed drawing. I didn't know that I could do five drawings a day. Um, but if the question was, can you do all your drawings for the week in one day, the answer is yes. <laughs> so, um, so uh, yes, the nature theme critters really do come to us. But the problem is that towards the end of making one of these shows is when we get all of our best ideas, it seems like. Um, I think I know why that is, though. Because we get into the flow. Yeah, because you're... I don't know. You get into the jam of making things like over and over and over again, and I think as you, I don't know, it's kind of like how you forget how to how to do stuff if you haven't done it in a month. Yeah. And like once you get into the groove, then you start thinking of different ways of doing things, and then you have good ideas. Uh, oh my goodness! Thank you for hosting, Hannah. Uh, I gotta catch up on the uh, the chat for a second catch here. Catch up. Um, let's see, hold on a second. Oh, Red Jar Jam says he's driving himself over designing emotes. Don't, don't, do, I've seen some awful ones that people love, so don't, don't stress too hard. Um, just make them funny. You're pretty good at that. So I think, I think you don't have anything to worry about. So, um, wait, Curious Forest 2, wait, wait. No, not, did I say Curious Forest too? What did I say? Curious Forest also, I think maybe what I meant. Um, yeah, so I didn't mean to say that. No, not Curious Forest too. Oh my goodness gracious. Teresa uh, is already chanting BTS. Oh boy, are we gonna get into this already? So, um, I have friends out there, some who are a little more enthusiastic than others about uh, uh, K-pop bands and uh from what i understand bts is the 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 most uh notable at the moment um because they were on the american music awards last night but i don't think that's i think they're just top of mind because i think they're just popular uh, they're very popular and and everybody seemed to know all the words to a korean song on the uh not not in the band but the uh the people in the audience <laughs> And boy, they are an enthusiastic group of young men, I will tell you that. And boy, can those boys dance. Um, so uh, so my, my, my thoughts on this are, I knew nothing about this other than I, I know I have a few friends and acquaintances who are, who are very, very big fans of, of this type of music. Boy, I'm starting over, guys. I'm erasing everything. Because I was nowhere near the middle. That happens sometimes. Um, Derek, I gotta get through this first one first. I'm still not done. I thought I was done. I'm not done. Um, yeah, I thought I was done all this time, and then I, I realized that uh, I, more work was requested, so I've been working very hard. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so these, these, uh, these youngsters, uh, who I would assume they're somewhere between the ages of 16 and 21, I assume. You would be I, wrong. I can't tell. You would be Are wrong. they older than that? They are. <clears throat> Ready? 21. Let's hear it. 23, 23, 24, 24, 25, and 26. Oh. Boy, was I wrong. 
they're still younger than me, so... Uh, well, they're Korean. They age very slow. People. Yeah, I was going to say that the Asian, the Asian genes for aging are, are amazing. I, I wish that, uh, that us east of Eastern European no, uh, lineage... No such luck for us Westerners. ...didn't age quite the same way. But, um, uh, yeah, so I was wrong about their age. <laughs> Boy, I was really off, huh? Uh, it's easy to do. They do look really young. They look very young and, and very androgynous, which, again, totally fine, but I think that has... That, that has a lot to do with their success. Um, but yes, they, they uh, this the whole boy band thing is not new. If anybody's heard my dialogue step step. about new kids on the block and Danny's contribution to, uh, is it step by step? It is step, it is by, step, step. by step. You'll know that I, I know about boy bands. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan says, I can confirm, married to Korea. See? Yeah. See, there you go. Yeah, they don't age. Magic. You know, I, you know somebody told me uh, that uh, if anybody follows uh, Seriously Silly K on Instagram, she's a fantastic sculptor. Um, very friendly, very, very forward <laughs> she just came she's out and wonderful. said she's great i she she was like one of my favorite people that i met this year but she just came up and and she goes i said i'm so old and she was like you look so young how old are you and i said oh i'm 40 something and uh and she's like you don't and she like touched my forehead and said you don't even have any wrinkles <laughs> So, uh, so I guess I don't look as old as I am. You don't. You don't look old enough to have a 16 year old. So. Yeah, probably not. So, um, but anyway, I'm, I don't look as young as the, the fellas of BTS. I'll tell you that. So. My family has aging genes that are, it's, it's not that we look young as much as we live forever. Right. Like my. And you, yeah, like no diseases. Yeah. Like I have two remaining grandparents. Both of them died because of either things like my grandma had a congenital heart defect. <laughs> because bodies don't last well, that and, long. And my granddad, you know, he was an alcoholic. And you, you do bad things to your body and your body doesn't last as long. But like, right. you know, my two remaining grandparents are like 91 and 95 and still going strong. And that's kind of normal in my family. So y'all are stuck with me forever. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah has has something that I think that you could... You could uh, um, Definitely. Dude, my hands also look older than my face. <laughs> I read something once when I was younger, one of those horrible ladies magazines thing that said like, you can make up your face all you want, but a lady's hands will always reveal her age. That's BS. Well, I feel like it's like impacted my life and I'm always looking at my hands like, oh, oh I got see, old lady I never hands. read those, those articles. Uh, hello, Amico827. Hello, Zygobus. Zyg Psycho Bastard. <laughs> I, I remember Psycho you. Bastard. Thank you, Bastard. Um, so, uh, Kesha says, my grandma is 94 and still going to. Yeah. Oh, yes, the sun can do a number on you. Um, yeah, you look at my hands. <laughs> yeah, look at my hands. They don't look... I always thought that my hands looked smaller than they are. Is that like because I think, feel like I've not small. but I feel like I've slim I don't have like like I always looked at my grandfather's hands and Just, he, I let's know, show everyone how how not big my yeah, hands here, are. Yeah, here let's do it this way. Yeah, me, see. Yeah, um, no, but I always thought they looked small because my fingers are skinny, and uh, my grandfather's hands were stumpy and his fingers were super fat because he had working man hands. It was like he shoved his hands in buckets of gravel all day. Um, but yeah, I always just I always thought my hands were not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Washing hands does that a lot too. I never wash my hands. Gross. That's not true. I, I wash my hands so much <laughs> when I cook. Oh yeah, raw chicken, gross. Yeah, raw pork more than anything. <laughs> Hannah says I have snousage fingers. No, I bet you don't. Oh, snousage. No, you don't. I remember. I remember you, psycho, like psycho bastard. I, I totally remember that. 
I was just messing with you. I, I had to. I had to stick with my Chris doesn't pronounce things right. Mo. Actually, taking down my like to do lists. Weird. Oh yeah, it's been real weird around here. We had. We have been doing so much frantic work, like last minute work on the on the show, and um, and it, it's gonna pay off because we we've seen how they're gonna lay out the graphics and we're gonna have big cutouts and it's gonna be crazy. It's probably the biggest to do that anybody has like put together for uh, just you and I. It's pretty amazing. And and we always kind of get like. like over treated in Japan is that do you think that's correct yeah I'm I'm a little intimidated this time to be I'm gonna open up and be honest uh oh I'm a little intimidated cause it's you know normally when we've gone we've been with at least two other artists at least yeah no I think every other time we've been with like four or more yeah and now it's us only and I'm a little scared. all eyes on us uh yes we leave um we leave on the 29th, I believe. So, yeah, just just over a week from now. Um, it's... I'm almost ready, although, you know, I haven't really thought about... We have a couple of plans while we're there after the convention. Like, we have to be at the convention the whole time. Because um, we have to help set up, and we got to be there for signings and to help explain our stuff to people and um but we haven't like really looked into what we're gonna do the rest of the time i know it's gonna be punctuated by lots of eating yes um, my daughter has uh she has requested that we go to at least one cat cafe okay for her yeah on her behalf i believe um that shouldn't be hard to find i said i know where one is in harajuku um well but, while we're there we can eat some crepes yeah. Oh, yeah. Did we tell you about how many we walked to, to Harajuku twice to get crepes? Twice in two days, right? They're amazing. Didn't we go back twice in one day? We might have. Um, let's see. Frantic work. I'm picturing like the sped up montage scene from Home Alone when they're when they wake up late and run around packing. It's kind of like that. Um, and thank you, Derek. I appreciate that. Any food places you're excited to try when you're there? Um, no. Oh, and thanks for, about the pattern of my desktop. Um, oh, the, the robot cafe. We talked about that, and we decided that it's... Um, we, we like touristy stuff to a degree, but I think what we like more is kind of like what normal life would be like over there. If that makes any sense like yeah I want to go to an udon place because udon's like a super normal food there and we can't in and, and like the worst udon there is the best udon I can get in Ohio so because I must by the way every time um so I don't really know what food what food am I looking forward to the most no. I mean always the sushi in Japan is always awesome um, but I think I'm I'm more looking forward to the stuff that I didn't know about before, and you know they put it in front of you and you you learn what it is. Like there's a, a whole world of food that I don't know about in Japan. I know which things I like, but um, definitely taiyaki. We gotta get some taiyaki. Mm -hmm. uh, New York pigeon ca cafes. That's great. Oh, um, Spencer says he hated the robot cafe. Oh, interesting. What did Derek say? You should definitely book a reaccount. Um, I don't know if we're going to have time. I don't like what's happening here. I didn't resolve this before I started the drawing, so we'll figure this out. Um, I don't know if we'll have time. Oh, so if you guys don't know what a Ryokan is, uh, it is a hotel uh, that is centered entirely around bathing. Um, 
in hot springs. Hot springs? Hot baths. I mean, there baths. are hot springs there. They're yeah. just not all geothermal. Springs. Right. So they, they have like baths, and sometimes they have private baths, and sometimes they have public baths. Like, uh, Japan has a very rich bathing culture. Um, and it's not weird. Like, Westerners think it's very strange uh, because we don't do it. But uh, they don't care. Although they don't like tattoos in public baths. That's for sure. I think that we're Western and... Yeah, they, would, they wouldn't they would care with us. Also, your one tattoo is very small. It's very, very, very tiny. Um, yeah, we have... Oh, what did we have for dinner? Uh, we had Amanda's... One of Amanda's favorites. Eggs and bags. Eggs and bags. Um, I make bagel sandwiches with eggs and cheese and ham tonight, right? Um... So that was uh, that was our dinner tonight. So it's a fried egg with cheese and ham on a bagel, and uh, what spinach and arugula salad. Yeah, tasty. Yeah. Why are tattoos a taboo? Uh, because of the uh, yakuza. So typically, from what I understand. Being um, criminals. Yeah, the, they're they're they are a, a, a organized crime syndicate, and they they demarcate themselves with lots of tattoos. So that's what Steve said. Hey, Steve. But uh, if you're obviously, I mean, we're American. There's no way we would yeah, even possibly we, be in the. Army we already life. stand out, but still, it's like it's not something that's uh, you know. I think amongst young people, it's a little more. Uh, accepted like there's a lot of like there's a lot of punk rock in Japan and there's a lot of like small tattoo parlors in Japan too but if you go to a place that's super traditional you can just if you go to an onsen you can just get a private room and then no one will, else will be in there with you if you're yeah. worried about your tattoos yeah we've been to I've done both we've been to a ryokan twice and one had a private room and it was awesome because it had a bath outside and like it was like in this really awesome little garden outside surrounded by rocks and there was another one that had a bath that was like attached to it that had l the hottest water oh that I've God, ever put my body water. um <laughs> yeah I, I, <sighs> it's like my heart started palpitating with it was dreams. so it was like I'm gonna make myself into soup and I love hot water it yeah it's intense yeah, I remember, I remember that was pretty awesome. Um, let's see. Uh, I have two very colorful sleeves, and I'm pretty clearly not Yakuza, but I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't want to step on any toes. Yeah, that's... <laughs> the Yakuza ruin everything. Don't tell them I said that, though. I don't know, they made a pretty sweet video game about them. They make for good, like, villains movie villains make use of the ofuro is that the little what is that is that the little bucket I'm not sure what that is that's a good guess I don't know but I know what it is is it either, the little stool gonna, and bucket we're gonna find out I'm gonna look that up <laughs> Steve Steve has many stories Oh, it's the it's the deep tub. Oh yes, yes we. Oh, so favorite. <laughs> it was awesome. We we stayed in like a business hotel last time we were there, and uh, and that sounds off putting, but it was really awesome because we had like we had laundry, and uh, we could do we could do our own laundry in the room once we figured out the Japanese instructions, and the whole bathroom was like had drainage in it so you could just stand in the middle of the bath in the middle of the bathroom and take a shower and then jump in this gigantic tub that took an hour to fill up but yeah so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like be clean before you get in the bathtub like cleaner than you've ever been in your entire life yeah because it, i guess i guess it's like typical of like japanese families to fill up their tub with super hot water and everybody uses the same water because they take a shower first and they scrub down like crazy. So they're clean before they get in the water. Is that right? Mm 
Okay. I just wanted to make sure I, I wasn't mean, that's screwing the most that up. Way to do yeah. It, really. Yeah. But they don't waste water that way. Oh, but boy, their bathroom designs are really smart. There's drains on everything. You can take everything apart. It's really easy to clean everything. Like when you flush the toilet, on the back of the toilet, there's a little tiny sink that fills up or that that squirts out water, so you can wash your hands as the toilet's filling up. So it's like it's awesome. Everything's just super smart. We'll catch up eventually. No, we won't. We'll take time, but we I can't think, do anything right. I think we'll get there. We're we're just dumb children. You know what I like there is the like square uh, bottles of beverages. Yes. Like they're square, so you can like fill every inch of space. You can and stack you them like it, boxes. And if you drop it, it won't roll away. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh, I think we've talked about the toilets already on the live stream, but. Um, you get to go again the, soon. the first time the first time you encounter a Japanese toilet it's a little intimidating but after the first couple times you use it you're like wait a second why does the rest of the planet not do this and then you come back to the west and everything's wrong <laughs> and then you start searching out how much they cost Toilet talk. I I think we need, oh, a, need a I think a we need a toilet talk emoji. <laughs> Maybe I should just <laughs> bubbling baby, bubbling baby in the heated toilet seat. I mean, they have toilet public toilets make courtesy sounds inside the inside the stall, like they just make they play music or they make noise so that you can't hear what's going on in there. How thoughtful is that? I think that's pretty good. <laughs> Ethan says, I'm working at a Japanese-owned hotel in New York, and the U.S. fixtures are really a problem for them. Yeah, that's, uh... I mean, they're barbaric in comparison. Yes, okonomiyaki. I, you know what I think it is that, that really does it for me? It's not the cooking in front of in front of me that does it with okonomiyaki. It's... It's the radish inside it. See, I don't, I don't mind the, that. The, the shredded radish. I just don't want to marinate in the okonomiyaki steam yeah. for an hour and a half. I get a little sick. Also, like because we're traveling and we can only bring so much, like so much luggage, and we don't really want to wash our clothes when we're there. You, once your clothes get, you know, soaked in in egg and shrimp grease. <laughs> <laughs> you can't wear them again. <laughs> they refuse to accept our toilets. I love that as a statement on its own. I mean, it's like if you've ever eaten at the melting pot. It's the same thing. Um, <laughs> when toilets side with Skynet, you will be singing a different tune. So toilets are going to become sentient? No, I don't want sentient toilets. Sentient toilets. Toilets they, should not have AI. They already talk to you. Yeah, but they're not smart. It's just a recording. When do you think that Elon Musk is going to get in on the toilet game? It's I only a matter of time. The Hyperloop toilets? <laughs> Hyperpoop? Hyperpoop. <laughs> Points. He's already got the nice. um, hashtag hyperpoop. Uh, is the logo like a little like a little poop that's like a circle? It's it's a Mobius strip of poop. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good pun there, but I can't say it on the air. <laughs> Hannah says, "Thank you for your deposit. You should drink more water." <laughs> Very good. Oh, you know, I I know what you were about to you, say. You, you I can't say it. Throwing? Yeah, I ill. <laughs> Don't throw the that. The idea, not the thing. Don't throw that. Hyper poop. <laughs> Elon Musk has toilets that shoot the poo into the sun. Did <laughs> <laughs> you burn it for fuel, though? Yeah, I was going to like, say, it like becomes it? clean, renewable energy. Yeah, you gotta, you got to reclaim that energy. Oh, Mr. Hanky, I haven't thought about him in a very long time. Oh, okay. Well, speaking of the holidays, Mr. Hanky was a, hol a Christmas poo. 
Uh, do you guys have any, like, Thanksgiving traditions? I can't think, because my family's very small, and, and I know a lot of people, like, go shopping on Black Friday right after Thanksgiving. Um, but is there, like, any crazy stuff that you do with your family on, uh, on, on or after Thanksgiving? Or something that's just insufferable that you can't deal with, but you have to do it anyway? <laughs> Rich Out Jam says, I just pooped straight into my vegetable garden. No toilet needed. Well, remind me not to accept any, uh, any zucchini from your garden. <laughs> Actually, here's a joke. Here's a gross alert. It's small, but I just read an article about someone. I think it was somebody like freed from North Korea or something, but had like copious amounts of parasites. Oh, fantastic! Because they use human waste as fertilizer. Yeah, you can't do that. So you really don't want to be doing that. No, we're we're <laughs> we're terrible. As a public service announcement. <laughs> oh, always a dance party for the kids after. That's really oh, that's smart really good. because then they go to sleep. That's really super smart. Here's your pie. Dance. Go to sleep. <laughs> Self-medicating to get through it. I, I guess I that's it. Yeah, after, after my divorce, Thanksgiving got very strange. And uh, because, you know, my kids weren't here the first year. And I think we've kind of gotten into a rhythm, though. Like, it, we everybody's just cool with whatever now. I think this is the kind of the first year for that. Um, it takes a little while, but nobody bickers about anything, so that's good. I'll be laying on the couch with my dogs alone with the curtains drawn and my doorbell disconnected. Oh, there you go. Oh, there's a, there's a, uh, actually, that doesn't sound all that bad, Rajar Jam. There's no, there's no driving involved. Oh no, a dog show. Epic nap, yes. Well, we're driving up to Michigan, which means there might be a stop at Ikea on the way home. Well, your mom keeps the house really cold. Oh, yeah. Bring, so your, gonna, bring your slippers. I'm going to bundle up in a big fluffy blanket and take a nap. That sounds great. I'm hope, I hope to be done with all these drawings by then. So, you will be. Yeah. I'm, cl I'm halfway there. After this drawing, I'm halfway there. Oh, Hannah, that's right. Yep, we'll be in we'll be in the, the mitten land. People who are not from Michigan, you might already know this, but we always we always demarcate on our hand where we're from. So if you're like, oh you from Michigan, you go, oh yeah, I'm from right there. So uh, that's an annoying thing that people from say, Michigan and people do. People from Ohio just roll their eyes when people from Michigan do that. Because they all they can do is go, look at where I live on this square. Um, Ohio is heart shaped. Thank you very much. Um, Our license plates uh, used to say the heart of it all. I don't know if you've ever seen a heart, <laughs> <laughs> but that's a stretch. Oh, I hear the neighbors taking out their trash. Don't let me forget to take out the trash, guys. Um, it's a good thing they're so loud. It's like a nice reminder. Yeah. To go up trash day. But is anybody going out on Black Friday? That's what I want to know. I went out on Black Friday one time, and it was not to buy a gift for anyone else. I just, I needed a new TV, and TVs were super cheap that day, and I waited until like 2 p.m., and I just went to Best Buy and bought a TV. And it wasn't crowded at all. It was pretty great, actually. Everybody was like, was at 4 everybody was done by then. They, they were like, they bought into the hype, and they, they stood in line super early in the morning. I'm so. doing it, hon. Yeah. No, oh, Kesho says we share a trash night. Oh, yeah. who else has a has a Tuesday morning early trash day? We're bonding. Bonding over trash days. I don't know what the baconator is. Should I know what the baconator is? Is it something you can get yeah. on Black Friday? Um, maybe. Oh, is it a is it a sandwich? I think it probably is. Uh, let's see. Oh man, there's so much coming through. Oh, here I'll help you. Uh, BTS is a is a Korean pop band, boy band. Uh, they're, although I found out they're in their mid tw mid to late twenties, so they might not be a boy band. I'd say early to mid twenties. 
They're a fella band. Um, wait a second. Ethan asked, uh, did you have any more thoughts on the addition sizes discussion on Facebook? Um, not much more than what I had already discussed. Uh, you know, everybody had a lot of really good points. The, the most outstanding point seemed to be, uh, I don't care how many there are, I just want the thing. And, and I'll tell you that addition sizes will probably never be bigger than 30, um, for resin pieces anyway. Uh, so that's still a relatively small addition, but um, I'm thinking like the Dewlap, I probably could have sold at least 30 of those, uh, but the addition size was 11 or 12, I can't even remember. Um, so I'm not going to go back and make more of that one, but I'll make more of a different color. So uh, I've already put in an order for... 30 dewlaps, so the next color is coming uh, for everybody that missed it. So, that's my thought. Oh no, Persona 5. Yeah, so for those of you that got a, a dewlap at, uh, at Decon, I almost called it 5 points, you got the more limited, but it was only limited by, by 20. But I was talk I've been talking to several people over the past couple days about um, some manufacturing stuff, uh, some 3D modeling stuff, uh, an old model that um, that got started but never got finished. Uh, is we're gonna really try to get it through um, as a resin edition piece first, uh, and then depending on the popular, it's a very popular character of mine that I, I've got nothing but requests for forever. So um, it's an old old sculpt of mine, so I'm updating it um, to be a 3D model. Uh, and then what else? What's that? I burped, sorry. Oh, it's okay. I thought you said that, something. That was not a word. Uh, 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 yes, more kangarumples for sure. Um, Let's see, the, the other thing, I, I saw, I actually saw a 3D print and an early um, test pull of another figure that I had, no, <laughs> maybe I was part of this discussion, but I don't remember it, and it could have very well been when I was taking the medication that totally screwed up my memory, um, that I'm not ruling that out as a possibility, but the discussion was that we were gonna do a large size of this figure. Uh, this is vinyl. Um, but it came back to be like fickle bit size. So it's gonna be this big. But I can't tell you what it is yet. But I saw the, the output of it in the, the, the test pole. Mandy saw it too. Mm -hmm. It looks awesome. <laughs> so I'm really excited to show that one off once it finally comes out. So. Um, Oh, and it's Piegasus. Hello, Piegasus. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, ba -ba oh, where's Kangarumple? Kangarumple's right here. Here you go. We'll put, him, we'll put him in the screen so everybody can see him. Sit by Kevin. Kevin's hungry still. Uh, red jar of jam. It looks like Kevin's holding your pencil right now. Hold my pencil, Kevin. Actually, I can't put him there because then I can't draw. Slightly off screen. There we go. Well, kangar more kangaroo ramples uh, will be coming. I don't know what the new color of Dewlap's going to be. I just know I ordered the resin already. So I started doing something different with these drawings. Um, I started pre-shading them and I think you guys caught me doing that on the last uh, stream not caught me I called myself out for doing it um, and it really really helps get my midtones down um, but I've also been like smudging the, sh the shading in a lot more and it just helps to unify the whole thing but then I gotta keep going back in and adding more Uh, 
Um, can I bother you in the future about vinyl production questions? It's my 2018 goal. Sure. I might not be able to answer a lot of questions. Uh, actually, we are we're about to. I'm, I'm going to say we're probably 95% sure that we're about to uh, jump into our first self-produced vinyl. Do you think that's fair yeah. to say? But we don't really know either. So yeah, so we're we're, we're new. Too. We're new to this, but we have a lot of friends that know stuff. So Let's see, did I miss? Oh, it's Sophie. Hey, Sophie. Those ellipses have Mubot on alert. Oh, weird. Hmm, I'm not seeing Mubot come up at all. Let me see. Yeah, weird. I don't know what happened there. Whoa. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Emane, for the follow. Yes, I did see the Dark Crystal print. Uh, thank you for sharing that with me. Um, I have a strict no print policy <laughs> because I have so many prints uh, and if it's not framed and ready to hang I will not buy it but also I don't really buy fan art stuff so but it was but it was cool it was it's nice to see that people are still giving um, uh, some merit to the dark crystal it's awesome. all these years later I do want to get up to uh, New York and see that Jim Henson exhibit. It looks pretty awesome. I mean, they have the original, they have doozers. Like, they have the whole doozer rig. Oh, man. They have, um, they have a Swedish chef with actual hand molds of Frank Oz's hands. That's awesome. They have the original Muppet Show sign, the one that showed up at the beginning of the show uh, there was a lot there was the original Kermit I think in there there was there's been a lot of different Kermits actually let's see oh my gosh somebody just dumped a bunch of cupcakes and I missed it didn't it's, I it was our tea onion, I think uh, sorry about that um, let's see yeah you know you should always bother Luke Rook he's a very interesting guy uh, hey Chris and Amanda do y'all do toy can UK no we don't we probably won't oh Ethan we were just thinking that maybe we should just we should just go up to see it anyway although uh, I got a very very I, f I found a very cool picture on Instagram and we may have to go visit this um, I want to I want to show it on screen. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. This is a picture from um, from the Guillermo del Toro exhibit. Uh, that this isn't actually the sculpture. There's another sculpture, and it's this is in the At Home with Monsters show. Uh, it says Chris Reinick, sculptor, born Detroit, Michigan, United States, 1976. I have my first piece in a legit museum show. It's in the Guillermo del Toro at Home with Monsters exhibit in Toronto right now. And I just heard that that is the last stop for that show. It is no longer touring. So if you're anywhere near Toronto and you haven't seen that exhibition, get up there and see it. Um, because Guillermo wants all his stuff back. That's why they're stopping the exhibition. That's hilarious. Yeah, he's, t he's tired of living in an empty house. Oh. So... Uh, <laughs> thank you, Ethan, for opening your chateau. So yeah, it's the um, it's the Arg ma maquette um, that I did. That other one, I'm not sure who uh, I'm not sure who did that sculpture. I did a version of that, but they they uh, they updated the design and did another sculpture. Uh, I don't know. I think he's he's living in Canada. I don't know if it's Vancouver or not. Um, but he's not living in L L.A. anymore. Guillermo. Smart move. Yeah. I would move too. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, L.A. No offense meant. 
But he's got so much stuff. I mean, it's 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 worth it to go to see what his collection is, and he's got like this awesome collection of Tom Keebler sculptures that are worth seeing on their own. And oh, can you go get that thing that we got in the mail the other day? Oh yeah, is it on? Is it by the Ouija board? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Thank you, D'Artagnan. So many cupcakes. So while we were at uh, Designer Con, um, I went over to somebody's booth and I saw something and I went back to my booth and I asked Amanda to go check it out because uh, I just wanted to, a second opinion of, about whether I should buy it or not. And, um, and then she went over to the booth and she came back and she had bought it for me. So. I'm a sneaky jerk. So, um, so it was Chet Czar, and if you guys don't know who Chet Czar is, um, somebody put up a link to his Instagram or something. I can do it. Um, so, uh, so went over to his booth, and uh, I've known Chet for a while, for a bunch of years actually, and he's awesome, and he's he's worked on tons of movies, tool videos. Um, he does like really dark art, which actually goes with our art very well, and. Um, and I saw this sculpture sitting on his, on his desk, on his table, and uh, <laughs> I went to pick it up and I said, oh, is this, is this cold cast, which is, you know, it's, it's metal infused resin. Um, so uh, I went to pick it up and it was not cold cast, it was actually bronze. So here is the piece that uh, we picked up and it's this really awesomely sculpted um, bronze skull with tentacles and it's the first piece that I have of his actually but it's also the first bronze that we own so this is like a legit art piece we don't and it, have a lot of fine art fine art and it weighs like it's heavy like two pounds probably and it's hollow um but yeah it's a bronze so um this is we're super stoked about this so I have a Tokyo Jesus skull, I have a Tom Keebler skull, and now I have a Chedzar skull. So I'm, I'm really happy about this and I have to thank Amanda for picking this up for me for Christmas. So It looks a lot darker on the screen yeah, than it really is. It's not this dark. It's dark, but you can definitely see yeah, the it's detail got a bronze is... uh, tone to it. Yeah, you can kind of see the, the, the detail a little bit better. But I'll take a picture of it, post it on the Facebook group. So, yeah, a bronze. We own a bronze now. We're one of those people. Oh, we collect bronzes. <laughs> come, well, or one, anyway. Come peruse our selection of fine bronzes. This one's a Rodan. Oh my god, could you imagine having a Rodan? Yeah, no, I think I'd. Have a lot of home security it would, if I it would also Rodin. fall through the floor. Yes, I don't think our house can support a Rodin. Here, I'll put it up to this camera. It doesn't like pick up the detail all that great. But it's an awesome sculpture. So and I agree, Kesho. We've definitely bought each other lots of weird things for Christmas. Um but I'm happy to support Chet, too, so thank you for throwing your money at him. Oh, yeah. I was going to throw my money at him. But clearly she just agreed with me and bought it. Like, yes, we should have that. It fits in our collection very well. Chet was so worried that you were going to come back and buy it. And I was like, well, then you sell two to us. And now we've got, like, I don't know, candle sconces or something. Did you tell him that you were going to tell me? I, I saw him on the way back and I said I said you were smart and you figured it out so don't worry he okay might come back no, that's awesome please have a look at my bronze wares yeah I'm gonna swirl my my wine like this <laughs> <laughs> man does this seem hot out here I turned the fireplace off your computer's generating a lot of heat over there yeah. Oh, what'd you get, Kesho? Is it from, uh, is it from the Lost Boys? 
Is it is it a uh, Kiefer Sutherland's mullet from the Lost Boys? Of course, it's from Lost Boys. It's a tooth. See, I at least I got part of it right. Is it Kiefer Sutherland? Is it a is it a Chinese takeout box? You know what scene I'm talking about. Of course somebody does. You're really building this up. I don't want to know anymore. I've decided. Yes, oh that's God, the one. Oh my God, I gotta know. I don't want to know anymore. No. Nope. See, you've made the stream go silent as we're all waiting for you. This is your fault, Elizabeth. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's great. Well, congratulations on the on the purchase. Oh, thank you, Sophie. So, I'll show the um I'll show the other drawing. Uh, so this is the adult beetle and I'm drawing the baby beetle. So, there he is. There's the baby. Oh, it is warm. I'm gonna yeah. turn the heat down. It's getting warm in here. So, I'm being a little more careful with these drawings um, because these are gonna be framed in the, in the exhibition. So, if I'm taking longer than usual, I actually can't tell. Oh no, I haven't really been taking that long at all. Uh, it just feels like forever because this is my fifth drawing of the day. So the, the, the plan was to actually sculpt a baby, but I didn't get around to it. So it still may happen, which should, which you guys already know that I sculpted the, the adult beetle. I never showed the final. I'll be showing them off very soon. So as the show gets closer, I'll be, um, I'll be showing more images on my Instagram of pieces from the show. I'm, I have to take my hoodie off, guys. No, it's warm in here. What happened? It was freezing in here before. Sorry, guys. Well, I've been, I've been doing physical stuff, and your computer's putting out tons of heat. Yeah, and me have all my mouth breathing. Heavy breathing. Oh, thank you for subscribing, sticker monster. Yeah, I took off my sweatshirt. So exciting. One step closer to my doughy Midwestern dad bod. I can assure you there's no tan under this shirt. There isn't. There isn't. In case anyone thinks he's lying. There isn't a, an ounce of tan. Neither of us are very sun-kissed. Well, we also haven't, like, really been outside much in the past three months, so. So, we got snow on the ground the other day, which I'm not okay with. Um, and all the leaves were raked, but it got very windy yesterday, and more leaves fell. So, um, there will be more leaf raking in my future. Yeah, you can go ahead and love snow. I don't love snow. I, when I was a child, I was okay with snow because I didn't have to do anything with it except for play in it. Yeah, look at it and build stuff with it. Yeah, now it's just sort of like a hindrance to my job and my ability to go fly fishing. So... Yeah, I don't like snow so much anymore. Oh, good night, Hannah.
Oh, thank you for following a Shadow Bakuma, I think it was. I might have mess missed that one. Shadow something. Thanks for the follow. Didn't pick up on the replay over there. Yeah, Zelly Cat, we had something really similar a couple days ago. It was really a pain to drive in. No fun at all. When it downpoured, too. And then it was like a flurry, and then there was freezing rain. Yuck. So all that talk we say about how cheap it is to live here. That's why. Still cheap to live here and still not LA traffic. We missed so many people that we wanted to go visit just because it was like prohibitive to, to drive places. Like if somebody's five miles away, that's, four, that's 45, 45 minutes. minutes. Which is absolutely insane to me. Uh, Kesha, we leave um, next Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't remember. On the 29th. Let's see. D'Artagnan, is that a new sculpt of Catwork for the show? He looks a little different. Um, no. He's just a different color. There's a rabbit wart, though. Bunny wart, I believe is his name. Um, he's new. So I have a standing cat wart and a sitting cat wart in the show, and a standing bunny wart and a standing or a sitting bunny wart. It's funny now that they're called warts, even though, because like the original gourd wart, like the wart means plant. They were all yeah vegetation, but yeah. now they still have wart in them, but they're not vegetation. Because, because they all have the same body, right? So I just stuck with it. Oh, Sticker Monster, I hope that you get your haul pretty soon. Hopefully before Christmas. Oh, Kesha, you don't have to mail us anything. But thank you. Yeah, it might be best if you wait till we get back. Actually, Amanda was going to buy something the other day, but we're going to be up in Michigan for Thanksgiving. Oh, I got to do that right now. Yeah, you should do it right Whoops. now. Um, and she's going to have it shipped up there. So that's how uh, that's how insane our lives are right now. It's just nonstop, nonstop. Oh, thank you, D'Artagnan. I'm pretty happy with that green one. the The blue standing one is uh, is one of my favorite pieces in the show. And the awesome thing is he's gonna be one of the uh, the tall like. Uh, standy cutouts that are being made for the show. So you'll be able to get, if you go to the show, you'll be able to get your picture taken with them. Which will be super fun. And they're also doing like a 6 by 6 foot um, uh, white panel that we're going to draw on. Did you know about this, Amanda? Wait, what? We're doing a drawing on, oh, right. on a panel. Sorry. So we have to think about how we're going to do that drawing. Triple tasking. Oh, Renaissance Tinker Dork is now hosting me. Thank you so much, Renaissance Tinker Dork. You know, it's great. That's like the longest username that I didn't screw up. I think because it was real words. I did just burp on screen. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, that's awesome. I, you know, it's funny. I've never gone to the, the Grand Canyon. I've only ever seen it from an airplane. One of these days, maybe I'll make it back out west. I wouldn't hold my, my own breath, though, waiting for that. I've got a lot of other places. I've been to the west a lot. Um, i got a lot of other places I want to go. Oh, Derek, if you're still watching... Um, I heard about this thing on Kauai that is a tubing excursion that goes down an old uh, irrigation canal. 
and it goes through like tunnels and stuff. It looks pretty crazy. Do you know about this? It looks super fun. It looks super touristy, but it does look super fun. Yeah, it's like a like a hundred and fifty year old irrigation canal that was all dug by hand that uh, goes through like these these small tunnels and stuff. <laughs> He hasn't heard any negative reviews or injuries. Oh well, hey, that's always good. They make you wear helmets and stuff, but yeah, it looks it looks super fun. If if you're looking for it, it's called Kauai Backcountry Adventures. You can find you can find uh, YouTube videos of it. I don't think you can drink while tubing. They make you wear a helmet and a headlamp, so, and it's like an excursion, so it's not just like a free for all tubing adventure. I've seen lots of those in uh, sort of upper Michigan streams. Don't ever go on a weekend. So just like large floating um, groups of drunken men. You probably sign a waiver. I would assume that you sign a waiver. Anything that has to do with potential drowning, you probably have to sign a waiver. Everything okay with that thing you're ordering? Yeah, well, sorry, I'm tr literally trying to do four things at once. Okay. <laughs> All right, Jake, thanks for popping in. Have a good Thanksgiving if we don't see you. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to cram in another stream before I leave for Michigan. Um. But have a great Thanksgiving. Tubin. I don't remember. I, I know of the game Tubin. Tubin. I feel like. Uh, I don't know. Don't you know somebody who has a kid named Tubin? Tobin. Close. I like Tubin. <laughs> Tubin. What's your kid's name? Tubin. I can't tell this my uh my Twitch will not say how many people are watching right now. Oh. You have. Well, I got too many My stats there. are off. Thirty four. Oh nice. Stats That's pretty off. good. <laughs> so is what is the island of Kauai like, Derek? Is that I don't I don't know anything about any of the islands other than one's a volcano, one has lots of people. They're all very far away from the rest of the states. And Spam Masubi is big over there. Oh, okay. That sounds like my island then. He says it's the most picturesque and nature driven. That sounds awesome. That sounds like it's for me. Make a noise, make a noise, make a noise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I my brain stopped working again. No, I just don't want you to get all like oh. All freaked quiet, out because there's no noise. sound. I could have the constant noise wall like some other streams that we've been on. <laughs> Just play black metal <laughs> the whole time. Um, does the gray and gold kangarumple have a special name? <laughs> yes, he does. Uh, he is, I believe he's called a, a tufted rock kangarumple, but I've, I've lovingly named him 
uh, Martin Van Buren <laughs> because of his hair. So, uh, so there you go. Martin Van Buren. If you don't know Martin Van Buren, look up his picture and you'll get it. He looks great. Yeah, he's, he's one of a terrible president. He's yeah, he's one of my favorite pieces from the show, actually. To be fair to MVB, it was mostly Andrew Jackson's fault. Yeah, don't blame MVB. No, I don't want man. I don't want to have music because. I might. I'll see how it works if I can find. I, I looked the other day. I was looking for like copyright free stuff, and boy, does it all sound like, like a a car commercial, oh, or or like a like a like a baby food commercial. It, yeah, it was all pretty terrible stuff. So um, yeah, I don't know. I still think I should have sound effects of like, like cold wind and rain constantly. Jeez. The bleakest stream. I do not know what's going on with Sticker Monster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that was nice. That was a nice one, Kesha. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was talking to Sticker Monster. Oh, okay. There's a conversation oh, happening. No, Old Hickory. That's that's Andrew Jackson. Oh, is that his name? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. See, I didn't know that. I'm pretty sure Jackson was Old Hickory. Yeah, rainforest sounds. Yeah. Where were we just recently and we almost ran into a peacock? We were in LA. We were driving in LA. Where it was? No, it was in it was in Monrovia. Oh that's right. There was a peacock just walking down the street. Hey guys. I'm a peacock. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like Kauai is the one I want to go to, Derek. <laughs> As you already know, I'm not about the nightlife. I don't like the boogie. You like like cool local culture though. Yeah. I like day life. Like I always want to know what people in that area do just to do like just do for fun or just do every day like I'm not really interested in the wacky stuff that's kind of what we want to do when we go to Japan too like we want to like just do normal stuff because we're boring so at at uh yes I do want to fight in Jurassic Park <laughs> Hold on to your butts. Nice. Wow, it just keeps going. It never stops. Kitchen Raptors. So yeah, at Decon, a bunch of people like invited us out after after the convention on Saturday and um, you know we had been there from 7 a.m. till 6 p.m. or was it 7 p.m.? What time was the convention open till on Saturday? Was it 7? Seven. Seven? Yeah so we were there a full 12 hours and we were working all day and talking all day and then people were like come on let's go out and I was so tired and I lose my voice really easily so I can't in, you know inevitably they'll go to a loud place and be like let's hang out someplace loud and I'm yelling the whole time and I lose my voice immediately and then I'm screwed the next day so um, I don't I don't go out because if it's going to be like super chilled out I'll do it but every time you go out at night it's always someplace loud and I just can't, my body cannot deal with it. So, um, there you go. I'd like to do that, all that stuff, but yeah, I just can't. And also I had to work the next day. 
So I can't go out and party. Because that's you all over. Yeah. But the thing is, I'd like to hang out with people. Yeah, for sure. Me too. But the, the situations are always bad. Oh, that's right. You can take the... Uh, you can take the Jurassic Park tour. Yeah, I think they. I think the um, there's a helicopter tour that takes you right to the heli where the helicopter pad is from Jurassic Park, and they play the music through your headphones. Nice. Yeah, I'd probably be sobbing the whole time. <laughs> oh my God, it's beautiful. Remember when that one guy died? We all remember that. Remember when Newman died? Newman. It was Newman, right? The guy who played Newman? Think so? In Seinfeld? Yeah, I never watched Seinfeld, so I don't know. Oh yeah, spoiler alert, Newman dies. If you haven't seen Jurassic Park it's, yet, it, I'm sorry. It's it's old enough that you can give spoilers, yeah, I think. It's old enough that if you were born when it came out, you're an adult now. You can drink. Right? It's at least that old, isn't it? It came out in what, 93? Yeah. I was so, 13 yeah. when it came out. Yeah. <laughs> I know you were just I know you were just kidding. I love how people say stuff like that on like to kill a mockingbird. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> right. Like a dial M for murder or something like that. It's like, well, it's but see, there are so many things I haven't seen. Yeah. Star Wars. Oh, the yeah. First one. Yeah. I, the thing that cracks me up is people that have seen the new Star Wars but haven't seen the old Star Wars. Like, you're missing a lot. <laughs> you're missing a whole lot. You're missing, like, the whole reason why this exists. But I can't see, like, a kid sitting nicely through like no. em Empire let alone the next set the prequels yeah no kidding yeah no don't 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 see the prequels w watch Duel of the Fates I'm not doing it I can't, I can't go that high. I'm losing my voice. It's okay, we don't have to. I'll be back in a second, guys. Spend the money. I'm trying to think what, what the redeeming qualities of the prequels were. Uh, uh, I think... A really cool costume design. Yeah, cool, yeah Amidala's costume design was pretty great. Um, I think Yoda's, Yoda's fight scene was pretty awesome. Um, uh, what's his name as uh, young Obi-Wan? What's that guy's name? Uh, Ewan McGregor. Yeah, there you go. Um, I think he made a fantastic young Obi-Wan. The dialogue in those movies was utter garbage. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Huh? What was that sound? The no. At the end. Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah. That was... <laughs> When Darth no. Vader goes, no! <laughs> well, that was like at the end of uh, the first. It wasn't at the end, it was in the middle of the first Hulk that they made. The one with, um, um, what's his name? I, for, I forget what his name is. Anyway, uh, his dad like looks up through the window and goes, my boy! I would think it was like Chris Christopherson or something. It was so bad. It was so terrible. Eric Bana, yes, that's the one. But like when he looks up through the, you, you, you have to go, you have to look for that one part. 
because it's the worst acting ever. Let's see. I haven't seen any of the Rebels at all, the Star Wars Rebels. I feel like I want to catch up on all that stuff. I watched the Clone Wars, um, the, the, um, Tartakovsky ones, but that's, like, the one with, um, oh, Mace Windu was the craziest one, the one with the stomper, that thing was, that was such a crazy animated episode. <laughs> Eric Banana. <laughs> See? Stupid jokes. Always win. I don't know if I I don't know if I want to watch the pre, the the uh the sequel to Train Spotting. I didn't really like train spotting. I still have bad feelings about the first one. I don't want to say I didn't like it. It just like I'll say it. I didn't like it. There's some movie that's fine. <laughs> there's some movies that you're like, well, I watched this and now I feel like I did my my duty, and I feel like that's one of them. But it was. It's not like a movie you watch because you're like, yeah, I love that movie. Like I don't. Some people do, man. No, oh, it feels like a, I don't know, it feels like a, civ a civic duty to watch some movies. Amanda, will you be posting any sneak peeks for the Curious Forest show? Yes, I'll be posting a lot more stuff online starting tomorrow because I am officially free. Woohoo! I've done all my work. Woo and I have time to be alive now. I'm not done yet. I still have 10 more drawings to do after this one. Yes, congrats on being all done. You are very close. Congrats on being finished. You were. I was finished until recently, and now I'm not finished anymore. Someone revoked my finished status. It's okay, you're almost finished. You're, you mean you're not from Finland? Fi no. Finished. You were from Finland. Finished part two. You were finished. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Wait, so, wait. The Dutch are from... Well, is it Holland or is it the Netherlands now? Yes. Did it change? Is it both? You can't have all of them, guys. If you're from the Netherlands, you're Dutch. <laughs> I'm sure that makes sense somehow. But not to me. Some smart person in, in the chat knows the answer to this, or is probably Googling it right now. Oof, there's a lot of taxes. Um, oh, in, in the Netherlands? No, on the purchase that I made. Oh. $70 in taxes. What? Well, Why? Because it's, it's expensive, the thing that I'm um, buying. Yeah. Ouch. Quick, do the math on that. Everybody can tell how much man is spending right now. Well, I'm buying an iPhone, so it's expensive. But to be fair, mine is a 5. I'm upgrading. It's time. Holland is in the Netherlands. See, I don't know anything. Interesting. Dutch are from the Netherlands, the Flying Dutch. Uh, Thank you, D'Artagnan. I I meant to do a sculpt of this guy, so uh, that still may be in the future. Maybe he'll be the next uh, the next thimble bug. Actually, he'd make a great thimble bug, wouldn't he? Yeah, sculpting this guy this very small would be very difficult, but I'm up for the challenge. 
because we have some some of the pink thimble bugs. Speaking of which, uh, we just got them back today. Uh, I need to talk to Uncle Steve about uh, having a sale before Christmas. So as soon as I figure that out, uh, you guys will know about it probably first. Oh, that's right. In Jersey, they can't pump their own gas either, which I hated. I have to ask you a stupid life logistics question. Okay. It's super boring. When are we going up to Michigan? We're leaving on Wednesday. Okay. Is this not going to work? No, no, no. I, I just can't do this thing right now. I can't buy it right now. They're saying that my billing address has to be the same as my shipping address. Oh, for Pete's sake. So I can't have it shipped to your folks. Um, I'll just have to do it when we get back. Can you ship it to our P.O. box? Nope, that's other another thing you can't do. You can't ship it to a P.O. box? No. So I'll just have to wait can you, and oh, like really, really time it well. Give the money to Steve and have him order it. That's true. Seriously, just PayPal him. So dumb. Or your mom. Oh, that's true. Stupid. Yeah, I should have done it as soon as we got back. Or before we left. Didn't think of it. Sorry. That's alright. Uh, sorry guys, life. Dumb. Boring. This is the problem when, you, when you're like, always traveling. You have to make sure to do, every, like, cram everything in between. How big is the sculpted beetle? He's um, he's about turbo firm sized, um, but he's not as like he doesn't have as much mass to his body, like because he has the big uh, because he has the big pincers. He's like about the same height and size. But he feels smaller because, like, his head is small. Like, Turbo Farb's head is huge, so. Hopefully that answered your question. Are you getting an 8 or a 10, Amanda? Oh, an 8. I'm not getting a 10. I'm not ready to take that jump into technology that still has lots of kinks that need ironed out. Also, no home button. I never buy first generation Apple products. They need That's some time. Smart. They need some time to get that down. You can't just buy it from the Apple store because it has to be a Virgin Mobile one, right? I can, but then I have to wait for Virgin to send me a SIM card, and then I'm in the exact same boat as I am right now. Yep. If I buy it from Virgin, they just send me a phone with a SIM card in it, and then I'm good. So either way, something needs to be shipped to me in the mail. Yeah. Stupid. Well, we're going to be back on Friday. I, know, I don't know I'm if you can... Gonna, if I order it on Thanksgiving, I'll do that. How many days shipping is it? Next business day. It'll be here by Tuesday then. Dumb. Super dumb, guys. Welcome to Boring Household Stuff Hour. In 24 minutes. Well, I'm getting really close to this guy being finished. Oh, good night, Rajaro Jam. Sorry, I wasn't even looking up. Boring life, crud. It happens to everybody. Even rock star artists. Yeah, that's us. Life. That's right. I cooked eggs and bagels for dinner. I think this guy is pretty close to being done. He looks great. Thanks. Hey, you guys want to see the other drawings? They're all very similar. I like the um the flowers that you did are kind of like a almost like a Pennsylvania Dutch hex sign or like like toll painting or something. Oh yeah. I like it. 
Okay, sticker monster says yes. I'll show you the other video they did. So obviously you've seen this one. Um, get ready. Uh, I drew a lot of grub thumbs with mush marshmallows. Marshmallows? Mushrooms. Marshmallows. Mushrooms on their heads. Marshmallows. There's this guy. And then this is called a, a shime shimeji mushroom. I think, I forget what these ones are called. I have them all written down somewhere. And then these are enoki mushrooms. And then uh, this is a, an Amanita mushroom. And then these are shiitake mushrooms. Um, and then these are the ones that I did today. Uh, I did this this fella with, with, an, uh, with a stump on his head. And I drew this guy who caught a fish. And I drew this guy who was sitting on his stump friend. So you'll see all those on Instagram coming uh this week so uh yes ethan so many parallel lines so many yeah yes Kesho. you already didn't somebody already use that joke today i'm not even gonna qualify it no nobody gets to use it again um no no nobody should ever have to draw uh, Anoki mushrooms. So I did it for you. Okay, guys, I I laid on that grenade Good. for you. Thank you. You're Thanks welcome. For taking that, uh, You're welcome. Taking, that taking it for us. the team. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad everybody likes the drawings. Uh, I like I said, I have ten more to do over the next couple of days, and hopefully, I can keep up the qu the quality level. <laughs> But they'll, they'll all be framed, um, or flamed. It's funny, sometimes um, Japanese translation it, it kind of stereotypes Japanese sometimes. Like when we went to the, 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 uh, the arcade in Japan, and there was a sign near the crane games, and it said, Claim Games. And then I uh, got an email about frames, and it said flames. So L and R is very problematic for Japanese speakers. Yes. For native Japanese speakers. But it's fun. It it's in funny, interesting when I see it written out. It's true. Like it's translated that way. Right. It's one thing to like joke about what how it would be pronounced, but it's another thing to see it written. Right. Not that I haven't made. Numerous mistakes like that. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> I think this guy is done. I think. Derek says, do a matsutake mushroom variant and you can charge 10 times as much for that one. I'm going to look up matsutake right now. Oh, why is that? Okay. Is that like a super rare mushroom? Yeah, it's very highly sought after. What's it look like? It's kind of like a wrinkly, regular looking mushroom. Let's see. Oh, I think it's like a super expensive mushroom. Oh, thank you, Jade Emerald. It's okay that you're late. <laughs> I'm almost done. It's kind of like the truffle of Japan. Okay. Whoa, this basket of five mushrooms cost five hundred dollars. Oh my god. It's sort of like morels here. Yeah. But well, morels aren't that expensive. Have you ever eaten one, Derek? See, I was trying to do all all Japanese mushrooms. I was pandering a little bit. Whoa, there's a little basket of three mushrooms and it's 42,000 yen. Whoa. That's serious. Oh, Derek has eaten one. Oh, wow, nice. You know what? That doesn't surprise me in any way. <laughs> Derek says it tasted like a mushroom. <laughs> that's so disappointing. I say, oh no. I think, you, I think you like you taste it and you hear the voice of God yeah. and the skies open up and your pupils dilate. Like, 
Wait, what are the ones called Chicken of the Woods that yeah. grow here? Chicken of the Woods. Are they a type of chanterelle? I don't know what they are. I think chanterelles are a different thing. Chicken of the Woods. We have, we have shaggy manes, too. You can't eat those. You, can. you can't? Yeah. No. I don't know. I mean, can and should are two very different things. I don't know. You can eat puffballs. Oh, chicken of the woods is a shelf mushroom. See, we have morel mushrooms here, and they're awesome. Morels are so good, and I don't like mushrooms. Yeah, she hates mushrooms. So, we found a grand total of two last year. Or was it three? I think we found two. Because we, we only two. found one the year they before. They were decent size, though. That one was huge. Yeah. Oh, good night, D'Artagnan. Thanks for coming. I've never had a truffle. I haven't either. But see, I'm afraid. I'm afraid because I'm not really a mushroom fan and I'm afraid that it would just be wasted on me. You know? Yeah, but you see you're afraid about the same thing about morels too. Yeah, those are really good. I don't ever want, I have this thing where I don't ever want to eat fancy food that you feel that like you're going to waste. Wasted on me. Right, because someone who's like a real fan would really love to have it. I've never had proper caviar, but I have eaten like many, many types of, of fish roe. But I've I never had like proper grated caviar. I have, but it was too long ago. I was young, and I don't really remember it. Like it I, went on a cruise when I was a teenager. I've had, well, beluga caviar is a, a beluga is a type of sturgeon, and I've had sturgeon caviar, so I may have. Um, yes, these drawings will be available in the Japan show, but they'll be online if they haven't sold at the show. So... Oh no, yeah, don't bring me caviar. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but I always want to take people at cons as like really stinky food. Yeah. Like, Here's some durian. Not that stinky, more like things they'd actually enjoy. Just super like, garlicky? Yeah, like garlic parmesan chips. Yeah, that's and... awesome. Okay, guys, I think I'm done with this one. I'm going to noodle it to death if I, uh, if I keep so going. On it. So cute. I'm pretty happy with him. Um, so I only have 10 more to go, guys. So uh, again, um, I'm not sure what kind of frames I'm using for these because <laughs> oh uh, 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 Shinji-san is going to buy them in Japan So uh, because I was afraid that all the glass would break by the time I got there. So uh, I'm yawning on camera. I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, I may not uh, be able to stream again this week. However, uh, I will be sure to stream one very last time next Monday before we go to Japan. And I may try to figure out the whole uh, IRL streaming thing in Japan. I'm going to see if oh, I can figure cool. it out. If I can get, if I can figure it out, we'll do it. Um, no, I want to stream on Thanksgiving, but I'm not going to be near my computer. So... Uh, I have a desktop, I don't have a laptop, so I can't drag this stuff with me. So I'm gonna try and figure out, I was gonna try to figure out the whole streaming thing live, but I had to start drawing immediately. So um, I'm just gonna wait. So uh, I hope everybody has an awesome Thanksgiving. Um, I wanna see everybody in the stream go to the Facebook fan page. And if you're not part of the Facebook fan page, send a whisper to kesho81 in the in the chat and uh and give her the email address that is attached to your facebook account if you'd like to be in the critter crew um but one thing i would like for all of you to do y'all have homework i want to see i want to see your best uh hand turkey this is kangarumple's hand turkey um you can tell it's a little small uh i want to see everybody's best hand turkey 
on the Facebook page. Oh no. So uh, yeah, you have homework, everybody. My dust bunnies don't have hands. It's okay. It can be your hand. Can it be a butt turkey? It can be a butt turkey. They have butts. So, hand turkeys, everybody. Post them on the Facebook page. Um, have fun. Get creative. Uh, and and you know I'm just gonna go ahead and say thank you to all of you uh, for making this community so vibrant and and responsive and you guys all talk to each other and it's it's really grown super fast and I'm really thankful for it and I'm thankful that everybody is cool with each other and cool with me so uh, and it was awesome seeing everybody at decon so. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I will pop into the Facebook group and talk to you guys there. In the meantime, uh, go draw yourself a hand turkey and uh, gobble gobble out!